Hi, I'm Simone Davis. I'm a Montessori teacher and mother, and I know how difficult it can be to set up our spaces at home so they're clutter-free and so they're also inspiring for our kids. So today I'm going to walk you through a step-by-step -step guide to set up your spaces so that they're engaging for your babies, toddlers and preschoolers. Come, we'll have a look around. So, step one, the child size furniture. Shop-bought furniture is too big for the kids. This chair, for example, is great. It's 22 centimetres high. This table is only 37 centimetres high and these shelves are 35 centimetres high. These actually are really simple shelves, they're just made from MDF and I've painted them so it doesn't have to be expensive either. I'll give you some ideas in the kitchen, come and see. So in the kitchen, have a small step where the child can reach up to the sink or the work surfaces and in your cupboards down low you can set up an area like this where the children can access the bowls, the cutlery and glass to help themselves at snack time. You can also make a little placement too. Step two, I want you to clear everything away. Less is going to definitely be more. So get rid of all those baby toys, get rid of the big pile of puzzles that your child's not going to manage by themselves and I want you to clear out that big craft drawer that's just full of mess. Start from scratch and only add back in a few activities, maybe six and they have to be good. Step three, make things easy for your child to be able to manage themselves. You can use baskets like this, which they can carry with two hands. Little trays. Or also make sure that you have cleaning equipment at hand so that when there's spills, they can also help themselves. You won't be able to say, oh no, there's a spill. You'll be able to say, oh, let's go find a mop or let's get a cloth and they can wipe it up themselves. So step four, we're going to see things from the child's perspective. So you need to get down the ground and see what the room looks like from their eyes. I can see now that maybe there's a cord over there that I can move. Maybe there's clutter that we don't see from the adult's height. See everything from their size. Also think about the plants and the artwork in your space. Are your artwork only for the adults or can you also put some down low? And maybe a nice plant, put it on the shelf so that the kids can look after it as well. Step five, store and rotate. I want you to store everything that you're not using and rotate in the toys when your child needs some new activities. How do you know? I used to change the toys maybe once a week when the kids were toddlers and preschoolers, but those activities that they're still working with, you can keep them out. Keep aside a budget for not materials, but actually for great containers and some cupboard space. I hope this information has been useful. If you'd like more practical tips about the Montessori approach in your home, come to themontessorinotebook.com.